Okay, so just to explain again, this motorized valve here uh, controls uh, the heating from the boiler uh, to heat the coil inside the cylinder. Um, and this little lever here should have resistance on it. It's spring loaded. So when it doesn't have resistance, this means the valve is open. When a valve is open, we should be getting uh, a switch live on the orange wire here, um, which goes back to the boiler and tells the boiler to run. At the moment, obviously the heating, uh, the, the power is off. I'm gonna just show you now. This is uh, the new Honeywell valve here. And if you see here the lever, I'm pushing it and it's got resistance now. You'll see that when I push it to the open position and let go, the spring sends it open, closes it again. Um, now I'm gonna switch the power on. I'm gonna put hot water to on and well we know the valve is stuck in the open position so we still have uh, no resistance and if i just touch the wire here we should be getting a light on a screwdriver um so the brown one here is our live from the programmer to the valve so as you can see we've got power going in which is our signal to, for the valve to open. And once it's open, which it's stuck in the other position, it should be giving us a switch live on the orange, which it isn't. Um, before it was stuck in the open position and it was constantly giving the switch live back to the boiler. So this is the reason the boiler was overworking and the water in the cylinder was overheating, which eventually caused the temperature and pressure relief and the pressure relief valve, which are our safety valves, to open up and this is what caused the leak. I'm gonna drain the system now and change this valve and hopefully that'll be the last of the issues. 